adding a branding calendar on Google's calendar servers is extremely simple to do. So let's go over exactly how you can do it. The first thing you're gonna do is just go onto Google Calendar on your browser of choice. From there, you want to click on the plus in the bottom left next to other calendars and select create new calendar. From there, you can do some customization, adding a name, description, a time zone for it, and more, after which you simply click on create calendar to confirm it. After you do that, a brand new calendar will be available from the list in the bottom left, so you know it's up and running. So that's super simple to do, but you may have noticed there's some other interesting options in the little plus menu, including subscribing to an existing calendar. So how exactly do you do that? Well, just simply tap on that little plus icon, then click on subscribe to calendar. Then type in the email address of the calendar owner in order to request the access to it. And you can even type in some note as well to confirm who you are or why you need access to it. Another interesting option in our menu is being able to browse calendars of interest. So if you go into that by the same add menu in the bottom left, you can look at some pre-existing calendars with dates of events you may be interested in as well. And after that, if you want to hide any, simply just go into your settings by clicking on the cogwheel on the top right and then going into settings. And then on the left hand side, you can hide whichever calendars you don't need. Now keep in mind that in the mobile app, while you are able to manage calendars, you cannot create or add new ones. You are going to have to do that from the web browser, like how we just went through it. That is the only way, but hopefully in the near future, Google will finally add an option to that to the mobile app. That would be a very big quality of life improvement there. Now, thankfully, the Google Calendar app is available on both the Google Play Store and also the Apple App Store so you can manage those custom calendars which you just made on both mobile operating systems. So hopefully you found this video helpful, if you did make sure to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.